Hello and welcome to Game Day Ward. Hi, my name is Simanshu, and today I'm going to show you some bits about twins in Godot 4.0. So let's play and let me show you what it looks like. So this is the different things. Let's check the code. So these are the three functions. We don't need anything to process so these are the three functions and let's see let's see the first one which is the rotation of icon so here I have created a twin using create twin note you cannot do something like this you cannot make variable outside the function you need to create this twin inside the function itself something like this and then now we are doing the property properties are like basically scale rotation translation and other stuff so i'm twinning the property of icon and the property is rotation and i'm using the old location and adding plus one which is the radian angle in radian uh, every time and in a time period of one second note if you are using float then you need to add 0 0.0 to the value 2 otherwise it will be read as integer and then i am using twin callback basically if this twin ends then you can use any callable too so basically i am recalling this function and then it's going into loop for example if i remove this then it will just rotate for only one time but using this it will keep rotating forever so now let's see the method property twin method so similar to the this thing uh, we can use this we don't need that similar to this function we need to create a variable inside a function inside this function using create twin and then we can use twin and we can use twin method this text is a callable uh, and this callable is this function and it's starting from 0 and ending to 10 in a time interval of 2 seconds so what this does is it calls this function which is this and this is the variable that it returns and it gets printed into the text so if you see this is empty and after this you can see it counts till 10 so it kind of a, it returns integer basically and I think if we add 0 then it will return float yep so similar to this you can use this thing twin method uh, into the path follow or something like uh, a platform movie similarly create twin and here I am adding this uh, twin interval basically it is a delay so it waits for this second 1.1 second and then it start this method twin method and here I am you are calling this function at interval from 0 0.0 to 1 at the interval of 2 second so this function is offset and offset has a value we are just offsetting the in units basically from 0 to 1 according to the value and you can see it like this it waits for 1.1 second then it goes so if I remove this it will go instantly you see so you can delay the tween uh, using set delay too so here is another way to do same thing like this twin method same thing and set delay to one second 
so after one second it goes back and then i am using doing callback to again call this thing call this function so basically it goes on loop so this is how you do the thing going from one place to another if you have used twins in 3.4 you might be wondering where are the other thing goes for example twin is out and transition between those thing so let me show you now you can add these thing is out is in like this so let me remove this first set is and if you are using this so you can remove this so now you can use set transition so trans between trans bounds so now twins are pretty powerful so there are less hassles to use twin in godot 4.0 and this is all i have to show you today and i hope this short video might help you with the twins in godot 4.0 so that's all for this video and i hope you like this video thank you